Good evening, my people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, let me start by thanking you people for the continued support you have showing me through subscribing, liking, sharing our videos. We are at uh, 7,000 plus subscribers. And uh, we still hope that you are still subscribing and sharing our content to as many people as possible. I'm still tackling the units, all the contents, all the topics you people have been asking. And today we are going to talk about one of the most important topics which people have been pushing me day in and day out to talk about, which is what. Let's talk about what. So what is what? And or what do we mean then by the word what? What? Are small fleshy bumps on the skin or mucous membranes caused by HPV. What are small fleshy bumps on the skin or the mucous membranes caused by HPV or what we call human papilloma virus? Not this. What are caused by strains of uh, human papilloma virus? Uh, different strains may cause different uh, warts in different parts of the body. This is very important. What are caused by strains of human papilloma virus? And different strains may cause warts in different parts of your body. Another point to, 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 to note, what can be spread or can be spread from, can move from one person to another, hold one part of your body to another part through what we call conduct, all skin to skin conduct. So this means there must be a conduct to the affected area for this kind of uh, disease trying to be transmitted from point A to point B or from one person to another. So this is how this uh, kind of a disease is spread. So if somebody asks you how what can be spread from one person to another, the answer is simple. It can only be spread from, through skin to skin conduct. For example, handshakes or hugs. For those who, who love hugging each other, you can easily get what through hugging and handshakes. So, what are the symptoms? Oh, how can you tell that a person is having what? One, oh, the first point to note is that what are usually self-diagnosable. This means you yourself, you can tell whether you are having what in your body. But the main symptoms include one, fleshy, pain, painless growth on the skin. Fleshy, painless growth on the skin. This means there is a growth in your skin which doesn't have any pain. I point to note, common areas affected in include hands, feet, and genitals. This means these are the most affected areas, or these are the parts of your body whereby you can easily find warts. So, the other sign is what we call small growth on the skin. Uh, itchiness, that means you might be, there may be what we call pruritus or itchiness on the affected area. We have lesions in the mouth and around genital regions uh, which are flower-like. So, a point, another point to note, common words, um, or which words are mostly common to humans. In other, in other words, uh, where can you find 
these words or this kind of a disease mostly all how can you explain what depending on the part of the body where it affects so common what in other words what are small this is another explanation or another definition of of uh, what they are small grainy skin growths that occur often on fingers this means they can be found in fingers ants and are rough to touch they are not smooth they are rough to touch they are usually uh, uh, as I've, i have said they are usually rough to touch and feature a pattern of tiny black clots they are rough to touch and feature a pattern of tiny black clots which are small clotted blood vessels i hope you get that they are usually rough to touch and feature a pattern of a feature a pattern of tiny black clots which are small clotted blood vessels another point to note what are viral or else they are caused by the human papilloma virus and can take as long as 2 to 6 months to develop after your skin has been exposed exposed to this kind of a virus what does it mean the incubation period or the time it takes from the first contact or when your body is exposed to this virus to the time when it shows the first signs it usually takes two to six months common words are usually harmless and eventually dis disappear on their own this is another point to note common words are usually harmless that means they don't harm your skin and eventually disappear on their own people choose to remove them because they found them bothersome and embarrassing so this means most of us can't be so patient enough until this words disappear by themselves because we see them as bothersome or embarrassing so in our next video we are going to talk about uh, how to diagnose words and more so how to prevent words and the treatment arrangements available for the, this kind of a disease guys continue keeping the support on Continue subscribing, sharing, and liking our videos. And we appreciate much for the support you have given us. Let's meet in the next video.